Come with me on the tasty trail with Benjamin. Hello, I'm Benjamin Joano and I'm with you on the tasty trail in Korea. Today we are going to discover together the samgyetang which is the ginseng chicken soup. One of the most favorite Korean dish among foreigners as well as among Korean people themselves. So today, you know, it's very cold. As you can see, it's winter time. Actually, we have the samgyetang rather during the summer time, but it doesn't matter because samgyetang is a dish for every season and every people come with me. That's the famous place for the chicken soup, the Sanketa. We came for the ginseng chicken soup, one of the most famous and representative Korean dish. And in this place especially, it is very popular. You know, in summertime, the place is packed with people. But now it's winter, and even in winter, it's full for lunch. And we will understand why very soon. I like one samgyetang, please. Yeah, one chicken soup, please. Of course, I ordered the samgyetang or a ginseng, a ginseng chicken soup in this place. That's the, that's the dish to order. The choice was not too difficult. Oh. Wow. Look at that. Ah, that's very nice. Yeah, thank you very much. Okay, that's, that's a, a very special soup that we have here. I want you to focus on this wonderful broth. Thick, with the foam, the white foam on the top. That's the sign of a delicious samgyetang. So what is samgyetang? It's a ginseng chicken soup, to say it briefly. In detail, it's a, it's a young chicken, a spring chicken, which has been stuffed with sticky rice, glutinous rice, and with other elements. Basically, it's ginseng, which is called insam in Korean. That's why we have sam for insam or ginseng, ge for the chicken, tang for the soup. That's the basic. But you find other elements. You eat also the stuffing which is inside of the chicken. You see from the back, let me show you. Here it is. Look at that. The rice. The glutinous rice inside. You have a piece of the delicious and tender meat of the chicken. And to go with the soup itself. Mm. It's very hot. Mm. I start with the soup. It's a cold day today. Mm. We'll come back to the taste of the soup later because I have to describe the elements that we find inside. So, you take a piece of the chicken and here on the table you have a little bit of salt and pepper. Mm. And the rice, you know, I don't know if you can see it, but you can see a little bit of the, the ginseng. The rice is very flavorful and uh, it has the flavor of the, the, the very the very rich and uh, very pungent taste of ginseng with a soft bitter taste, a soft bitter aftertaste. Not too much, just enough to complement the blendness of the rice. And here, look at the soup, the broth. In this special recipe, you have a thick white broth especially because they use the tuke, which is the perilla seeds ground and boiled together. 
with the chicken. Ah, oh, look at that. First, the chestnut. Here we have. So I need the chopsticks to show you the ginseng, which is actually stuck inside of the chicken. That's a piece of the ginseng, ginseng root. In this place, they use a four years old ginseng. The chicken is 30 to 50 days old. It is, um, it is like silk in the mouth. You see, because it's so thick. <clears throat> I'm flying to heaven on the wings of the chicken. you know every house has its own recipe so here the process is the following they have been soaking the rice with the, the ginseng and some jujube and now they are pouring this mix mixture in the chicken they are preparing very actively stuffing inside and you see the way they cross the legs to close tightly the stuffing inside. So that's the uh, the time now to put the chicken to boil in the huge pot called the kama for one hour and a half. Slow boiling. So you can see how successful this uh, this house is when you see you know this huge pot full of chicken and that's only half of what they are doing and preparing just for lunch. And this earthenware pot is very important to keep the warmth and to boil the chicken soup. It's called tukpeki or tolsot in Korean. It comes with this ginseng liqueur. It's a perfect match for the taste and also it's bringing you a kind of complement of energy, a kind of um, last boost. Mm. I cannot resist for a second shot. Today it's a very cold day, so I deserve two shots of this delicious alcohol. First I have a little bit of soup, so that I don't feel guilty. We are in the, in the center of the stamina theory of Korea. I cannot resist the temptation to bother some gentlemen and to ask them some questions. Excuse me, hello, hello, Hi. hello. May I ask you some questions? Because I see that you're eating the samgyetang. Yep. So, do you come often to this place? Oh, this is my first time. Uh, that's your first time having yes. in this place. And is it your first time with the samgyetang, with the, the, the chicken soup? Uh, yes, the traditional samgyetang in Korea. That's your first time? Yeah, the first. So, how do you like it? Fantastic. Really? Yeah, fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because the soup. When I taste the soup, that is, I was a very nutritionist. Ah, yeah, it is, yes. So you know that in Korea it's a soup which is very good, especially in summertime when people are exhausted. And we say it's very good for stamina. So what? <laughs> yeah, because I also learned from my colleagues. Korea. They told you already, yeah. yeah. Uh, is it why you came for the energy? Yeah. Or? Um, this is like first time for them to visit Korea. I see. So um, I took them here. Because, um, it's winter and cold, so I you know, want them to be like, healthy. Healthy, that's a very good idea. Yeah, I think probably after I finish the second time, I don't need to put on the jacket. <laughs> no, you don't need it. It's true. <laughs> you can go directly in the now and hello do you like the soup yeah yeah is it your first time yeah, this is our first time. 
Yeah, and 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 uh, you you enjoy it? It's 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 easy to eat for you. Um, I mean the flavor is quite good for us because it's um, the the flavor is very um, strong. Know, uh, yeah, very strong. Because of the ginseng, maybe. Um, probably because of the ginseng and yeah. because it cooked for very long time. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And the chicken is very tender. Yeah, yeah it is. But anyway, you like it. You, you like very it much. very much. Yeah. Okay, anyway. very good. May I, may I ask you, where do you come from? Uh, we are from Taiwan. Taiwan. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Very good. Thank you so much. And enjoy. Here we are in the Gyeongdong market. It's a wonderful market where you can find absolutely everything, especially uh, roots, medicinal stuff, but a lot of food. Look, you have absolutely everything. The todok, which are the kodonopsis, lankeolata, something that we don't have in, in the West, which is a very nice root that I like very much. This is the ginseng, the famous Koryo Insam or Korean ginseng. You know ginseng? It's actually, if you look at the name in Korean, Insam, In is the Chinese character for man. And I'm going to show you maybe why. Because if you look this way, it looks like a man, you know, with the small legs, the arms and the head. And it's good for uh, man. It's the ginseng panax. That's the scientific name, which means panax means it's a, a medicine for all the disease. 안녕하십니까. Hello. So I'm going to show you. These ones, the small, small ones, are uh, around one year old. And these ones are like 3년 되죠? 3년. Yeah, three years. You know, that they, 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 they separate depending on the age. You have to wait four years to have all the very effective important ingredients. So these ones are used mainly for food, for like the samgetang, for example, for the soups. If you want to use it as a medicine, you have to wait more than four years. The big ones here are, uh, this one are four years and this one are six years. Okay, let's go to another place. And here the chicken. Chicken paradise. I mean, it's paradise for us, not for the chicken, apparently. Uh, you have everything you want. You have the big chicken for roasting. You have the small chicken over there or here for the samgetang, for the soup. You even have some uh, chicken heart, chicken gizzard, and chicken livers for the soup. Small chicken, baby chicken for the samgetang. If you want to remember, think about young. Young, like in English, young, like baby chicken. Yonggege is uh, the, the Chinese character for chicken in Korean. So Yonggege, it's actually Yonggege, but anyway, that's very similar. Okay, now if you want to have a good uh, ginseng chicken soup, of course, you must have good chicken. This one was uh, good enough, of course. But uh, I want to go with you and show you a special Korean species of chicken, which is uh, extremely delicious. So go with me for the Siam Tak. to the coldest place on earth, which is the land of the flying chickens. No, I'm kidding. We are in a place to, uh, to, to discover a, a special local Korean species of chicken. And uh, their specialty <laughs> is that they, they fly. And they are bred outside during the daytime. And at night, of course, they go to their house. And of course, they have like special qualities that we are going to discover later. They are over there. Come with me.
You see, I, I have the feeling that he spent his life in front of, of camera. He's so quiet, you know, he's uh, very comfortable. That's a very nice chicken. So you see, they look very, uh, very much like the chicken, you know, but actually they are different in that they can fly. And I think he wants to fly. Uh, so they didn't lose their ability to fly. That's the big difference with other chicken. And that's a Korean indigenous species. Look at that. I'm going to try to make him fly. One, two, three. Well, no. I... Well, this one doesn't fly, but... <laughs> but normally they do. Mais bien. Ah. So this is a special food that they have for this chicken. It's a Korean medicinal stuff actually. A lot of different things which are mixed with corn and other food. So that's also an element which is adding to this special um, um, breeding farm, to this special chicken, extra flavor. Look at this huge cauldron that's used to boil the chicken and do what we call a bec soup, which is like a French poulet pot. It's actually a boiled chicken. Okay, just a ginger and garlic and, uh, and onion and something called hangi, which is a special Korean plant kind of medicinal stuff. Can I try a little bit? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Ah, let's start with the leg. Mm. Wow, that's a rich chicken. Mm. First, you have the texture. You know, it's not like uh, melting in the mouth, like this fake chicken from the, the chicken factory. It has some muscle. So, excuse me, you know, I repeat myself, but let's start with the beginning, which is first good ingredients. That's the, the basic for good food. Pebec uh, shop. Uh, Pebec is a special decorative food that we use for special ceremonies. Look at that. It's absolutely wonderful. What they can do with the uh, seeds, fruits, and even with dried squid. And here we have uh, the owner of the shop. Uh, she's working on the Pebec tak, the, the Pebec chicken, and especially a chicken Pebec, a chicken food decoration. 이 총각 여기 총각이 바람 안 나게 결혼하면은 바람 안 나게 하기 위해서 그냥 이렇게 입에다 물렸어요. That's absolutely terrible. The chicken has the wings in the mouth. You know, it cannot move anymore. And that's why that's um, a way to prevent the, the husband to be to uh, you know fly here and there go and see the ladies. So it's a, a way to symbolize that now the husband is going to stay at home completely stuck to his wife. So that's quite interesting. And look at this one also. This one here is it's just amazing. With all the, the, the small flowers. This is the 
Chuncheon Takalbi, one of these famous places. You have uh, other restaurants doing this specialty. And that's the stir fried chicken in a red hot chili pepper paste. Let's go inside together. This is the Chunchon Takalbi. Takalbi stands for the uh, chicken ribs. Uh, actually, you don't have much ribs in this uh, the Chunchon Takalbi. It's uh, different parts of chicken, chicken uh, breast also, which is mixed, you can see, with a lot of different vegetables. You have chive, onion, you have also uh, uh, sesame leaves, actually shiso. Uh, you have uh, uh, cabbage and uh, red hot chili pepper paste. And it's going to be cooked on a pan, um, like this one. And that was the origin of the modern uh, Chunchon Takalbi. And uh, it was in 1971, to be precise. And then it spread over Korea. And nowadays, everybody loves it because it's, uh, it's a very cheap dish, easy to eat. Uh, you know, chicken is not a, a very uh, expensive meat. At the same time, it's full of, uh, of uh, proteins and uh, it's uh, not too fat. When you say Takalbi, you think Chunchon anyway. So, And almost all the signboards are the same red and green. That's what we call the kind of uh, somin jogin umshik, somin umshik. It's like, a, you know, like popular, a people's dish. I would say in French a bistro dish, you know, not pretentious, but delicious. Reminds me of the so many stews we have with chicken in France, and especially in the French bistro tradition, like the uh, shallot chicken, poulet à l'échalote, or the garlic chicken, uh, poulet au quarante gousses d'ail. You have also the vinegar chicken stew, which is uh, very famous. Can be compared to the takalbi because takalbi is also it's a stir fried dish, but it could be seen as a, a stew in a way because it's slowly cooked. slowly cooked until the cabbage is soft enough to be eaten. The master of the fire. So let's eat. So you see, samgyetang was a more refined soup, good for health, but this one also the very popular takalbi made to be enjoyed with your friends on the table delicious as well Sometimes. You know what? I feel like Superman. You know, a frozen but very energetic Superman. And you know why? It's thanks to the Samgetang, the ginseng chicken soup. Another delicious, traditional, healthy Korean delicacy. If you want to go through the very cold winter, especially in Korea, I invite you to try this Samgeta. And I'll meet you next week for another episode of our Tasty Trail with Benjamin in Korea. Bye-bye.